Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Tuesday evening drive. And we're doing the back facing camera again. So hopefully, hopefully this works out. Can you guys hear that? My car is making a squeaking noise. I, I'm actually just filming this as I picked up my car from being repaired. Guys, it's driving me crazy. I can't remember if I hit the record button. I gotta check. I can't see because it's the back facing. Okay, I record it. We're good. We're good. We're, we're recording. Sorry for the loud noise. Um, but I just picked up my car from being repaired. I've had issues. Um, it was squealing when I was turning to the right sometimes, and then it stopped, and then it's like getting stiff to turn when I get off the freeway, then it gets loose again. Just a lot of weird stuff. Um, then my brakes, when I hit the brakes or um, I get a clinking sound and yesterday I filled up my gas tank and then the car turned on and then just turned off and that's happened before when I've gotten gas. So a lot of stuff going on with the car. So they're like, yeah, we'll take care of it for you. Bring it in, we'll fix it. So. You know, like based on hearing the brakes, I don't, I don't know if you can hear it. For me, it's loud. Um, but they said, yeah, you definitely need new brakes, and it looks like tie rod needs replacing. So I just got all that taken care of. So that is just done, and I, as soon as I pull out of the place, I hear it making this sound again. So I really don't know what this sound is, and it's still there. Well, crap! Uh, so, I don't know. I just have to get it taken a look at again. Man, cars can add up. Cars, car problems can add up with the money. Woo. Uh, but guys, what's been going on lately? Right now, I'm on my way to my parents' house. Man, another thing, AC isn't working too great. I'm hot. I got the AC on in the car and it's hot outside. It's hot in here. Oh, um, man, gotta get that fixed. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way to my parents' house. It's my sister's birthday and my brother and Nicole and I all pitched in and got her a little something that she wanted. So we're gonna have fun over there. Because of that, I'm interested to see how I'm gonna get this video up because yeah, I'm gonna stop at my house for a minute, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to edit this and upload. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So this might be a very late video. But, um, yeah, what's been going on? I've really still been enjoying the streaming, the live streaming, and I want to get some music in the background. Some people requesting music. So I want to I want to give that to you guys. So I talked to none other than topmass.net um and um yeah, so talked to Topmass and he said, "Yeah, man, use the music." So we'll probably be getting some of that going and I also bought some copyright free music that'll be fun. And I want to get that all set up for next Saturday's stream. And I want to get some graphics going on the channel, but man, I just don't have a lot of time, period, lately. But I just want to get give you guys the best experience possible because I'm loving the stream. It sounds like you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not, if you're not following me, just go to Twitch.tv/pungents, hit the follow button, and join me on Saturdays at 4 Eastern. It's, it's a great time. Um, but yeah. So, man, oh man. Yesterday's Hermitcraft episode, did you guys see it? I know some of you saw it. Um, but man, that was so much fun. Like, I want to watch the whole thing over again. It was just, it was just so much fun. Schism and I, we recorded that late at night. It was like 
I don't know, 11.30 or 12, and I had work in the morning, but we were like, let's just do it. And we were both a little slap happy, but man, it was that was fun to make. And if you missed it, check it out, Hermitcraft episode 24, Cleansing the Village. Oh, so much fun. You gotta watch all the way through, too. Because my favorite parts are at the end. So, check it out. That was so much fun. Um, so, guys, let's just get to the questions. If you're new to Tuesday Evening Drive, every week on Twitter, I send out questions on Tuesday, which there were a lot this week. I send out a question on Tuesday, what do you want me to talk about? So if you're not following me on Twitter, do it, and you'll get that tweet, and you will send me what you want me to talk about. And today, an overwhelming request for me to talk about the Xbox One. So, whoa. Man, I wanted to watch that live stream, but I guess they were doing it at like 1 p.m. my time, which is like right in the middle of the day when I'm working. So I missed it. So... Man, my eyes are so dry. You're going to see me wiping my eyes a lot today. They are just so dry. Wet, wetting up. Wetting up, eyeballs. Get the water in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I guess it's Xbox One. We were all wondering what it's going to be called. It's going to be called Xbox One. That's cool. I don't know why. Because there's like, isn't it like the fourth or third? Third Xbox or something? I don't know. Whatever. One's cool. One's a good name. So, I can't really give you my thoughts on it because I haven't heard anything. All I got was an email saying, introducing the new Xbox One. They showed, like, a picture of the controller, the the console, and it looks like it comes with a Kinect or something, like a camera. So, that's, that's cool. So, I'm interested to see all the features. So, you know, maybe in the next few days... They might upload just a video of their live stream. And I really want to see that. And I really want to see their reveal for Call of Duty Ghosts. The new Call of Duty coming out. Because that... I don't know. I'm always excited for new Call of Duty. So I'm ready for that. Um, so there were a lot of people who requested I talk about the Xbox One. The next question we had was from oh blizzard uh oh blizzard ninja I think it is crap I forgot his name I think it's blizzard ninja but anyway the poor guy he's in the hospital got his appendix, appendix taken out and wondered if I ever had to get my appendix taken out or um, any of my medical stories I'll give you one it was probably eight or nine years ago. Man, this is really wobbling. I'm not going to hold it, but just settle down with the wobbling. Settle down with the wobbling. Sorry, guys. In Michigan, we don't have the best roads. Sorry. But, okay, probably eight or nine years ago, I had um, a fish tank in my room and I was on the phone with my friend maybe I've told, told this story I can't remember but I was on the phone with my friend and I was in my room and then all of a sudden I hear water pouring and I was like what is going on and I looked and water was coming out of the bottom of my fish tank and I was like what is going on apparently I was using a reptile tank as a fish tank and the bottom of it the glass it's like raised up there's like a black edge around the outside and the glass is raised up so the glass had fallen down in the middle and water and all the gravel and stuff was coming out so I was telling my dad he came down and we he, we picked it up he's like let's take it to the bathroom and brought it into my bathroom we were going to put it in the bathtub let it drain in there the water was going all over the floor so we're reaching over to put it in the bathtub I slipped and as, as I'm reaching over, I slip, and it falls right on my hand. And I get my hand out of there, and I look at it, 
and there is a big gash in my hand. So I'm just putting uh, like a towel on it to maybe stop the bleeding and went to the hospital, ended up with six stitches. And I don't know if you can see this where it was, but I, have to have, I had to have six stitches there. Maybe that's out of focus. Six stitches there. And now, some people have noticed, I know, I know Schism noticed, my finger, it's got like a, they call it a swan neck deformity, but I can still move it, but I can't do everything with it. I can't do, you know how you can do this? I can't do that without the other fingers going down with it. It's very strange. And I'm sorry if that grossed you out, but that's really the only medical story I can think of. Next, next entry was Dezo, who wanted to know, oh, if I, that's a cool question, if I could have any car free and drive it free, what would it be? And I think right now, I don't know if any of you have seen Iron Man 3, but at the end, this isn't a spoiler, but at the end, he's just driving this car, and on the side it said e-tron. And the car just looked amazing. I looked it up. Apparently, it's an Audi or something. It looks like an R9, but this thing looked pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go with that. E-tron, Audi e-tron. Yeah, look it up. It. I don't know. It's. I didn't see a lot of pictures, so I think it was a concept car from like 2009. But the thing looks awesome. But man, maybe put in the comments. Put in the comments what you guys would like to drive. If you could have a car free for a day, that's a fun question. We have Elise again. She wanted to know how is the new computer coming? Did I get my fan prop fixed? And how is the switch? Man, this new computer is great. Everything is lightning fast. And um, it's just great. It's just great. The transition was easy. I, I used to use a Windows computer when I was younger, so I'm familiar with how they work. The only thing I can tell so far that I don't like about it, using Adobe products like Photoshop, on Mac, if, you, if you're like, oh, I forgot where brightness and contrast is, or I forgot where this tool is, you can just go into the search bar and start typing and it'll already give you a drop down of like, okay, do you mean this, do you mean this? And you hover over it and it'll show you in, in the toolbars where it is. But on Windows, you search, you put something in the search bar and it'll take you to a web page. You'll, it'll, you'll go online and it'll take you to Adobe support, which we all know that's not as fast as just, you know, putting in the word and it's showing you where it is, you know? I don't want to read instructions. I don't want to read a story. Are you taking me to a story? You can read a paragraph about something and it might not even be the right thing? No. Give me the letters and let me look. So I definitely missed that about the map. Um, other than that, though, everything's just been great. And then, okay, we got the, the, the Xbox, the Blizzard, the Dezo, Elise, and then Vodka King, John, one of one of the generous donators. This guy donated to me, man. And when when you guys donate to me, I just I just remember, and I really appreciate it because it's not needed. It's not needed. Um, but it's very appreciated. And, um, thanks again, John. And, I, you know, like I said, I wanted to figure out a way to, you know, do, like, a formal thank you thing to donators. I'm still not sure how I want to do it, but for now, from time to time, I'm just thanking you. <laughs> Tell you I appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, Vodka King wanted to know... 
What was it? Oh, any movies I'm excited to see. Can you hear that? Can you hear my brakes? And and uh, the steering wheel shift again, uh, stiff again. So I'm getting off the highway right now, and I got this noise going. And okay, now it's regular. <laughs> it's just not safe. It doesn't seem safe. Uh, but he wanted to know any movies I'm looking forward to seeing. I am looking forward to seeing Star Trek. I did see Iron Man three. I'm looking forward to seeing Star Trek. The Into Darkness, and man, that Superman movie looks awesome. Very excited to see that. But, uh, yeah, here's another one. What do you guys want to see? Um, those are really the only movies I know of that are coming out that look really, really good. I guess that Will Smith one looks pretty cool with his son. Um, that one looks pretty cool. Yeah, put in the comments what do you want to see. Or maybe what have you seen that you liked. But anyway, um, man, I don't know how long we've been going. This might be a longer video. But we'll cut it here. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for all the, the love and support. You guys have been so great and encouraging lately. I appreciate it. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.